Do you love going on cruise ships? Well, one thing you might not love right now is the prices have moved up and up and up. I have a son who's obsessed with going on cruises, and he's so dejected when I say, nope, can't go on one right now, they're too expensive. And so now you have to do a lot more picking and choosing as the economy got better. The cruise lines use a technology called dynamic demand pricing, and they've been able to really run up the prices. So if you try to yearn for what you paid three, four, five years ago, forget it. You've got to adjust to today's reality and adjust how you book with the flexibility of the ship you go on and particularly when you sail to get the best deal. So as an example, this is one of the ships that's part of the Oasis class on Royal Caribbean. Those cruises have become very expensive for what you get. You could go on a smaller ship on Royal Caribbean or go on another cruise line and pay half of what you pay for an equivalent cabin right now on the Oasis class ships. But the bigger thing is to let the calendar be your friend. There are certain cycles through the year when cruise lines have trouble filling all their cabins and that's when you steal the great deals. So some examples of that after Thanksgiving but before Christmas really kicks off is a true bargain time for any kind of travel and cruises are right in the midst of that. The fall on cruises in the Caribbean. Europe, early in the season, late in the season, you get cheaper rates. Alaska, early in the season, late in the season. And even look at things like experimenting with cruise lines you're not that familiar with. An example, MSC Cruises, which is a small cruise line expanding pretty rapidly. They have two ships that go out of South Florida. Their rates tend to be significantly lower than other mid-price cruise lines right now because they're trying to get themselves established. If you like using a particular cruise-only agency online, don't just go to the same one over and over again. Comparison shop. The more you compare prices, the better you're going to do. But never book a deal on a cruise just because it's a deal. You need to really be comfortable that that ship is going to fit your lifestyle, the things that are your interests. So I'd love for you to spend time on Cruise Critic, reading about a ship before you book on that ship. And in addition, on Cruise Critic, you can look closely at the various individual cabins to make sure you don't get in a cabin that's going to be a problem because it's in a really noisy area of the ship, as an example. The big thing, be flexible, 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 and that's how you'll save.